How are we doing? Today we are going to talk about sampling methods. So it's a sampling problem. So I'll share my screen with you. If you have any question, you can always write me a comment. So let's share the screen with you. Problem on sampling. The city of Klinsberg has 8,325 registered voters. There's an election for the mayor of Klinsberg and there are three candidates for the position, Smith, Jones and Brown. The day before the election and telephone poll of the 680 randomly selected registered voters produced the following results. 306 people said they would vote for Smith 272 indicated they would vote for Jones and 102 indicated they would vote for Brown. What is the sampling proportion for this survey? Okay. The sampling proportion for this survey, remember they have uh, taken a random, uh, the, the day before the election, a telephone poll of 680 randomly selected registered voter so 680 is a sample size divided by the population of 8,325. So sampling proportion for this survey is 0 0.082 or 8.2%. Part B, given the sample statistic, estimate the percentage of vote going to Smith. So 306 people said they would vote for, vote for Smith. So it is 306 divided by sample size 680 or 0.45. Part C, given that the actual election Smith received 42% of the vote, Jones 43% of the vote and Brown 15% of the vote, find the sampling error, okay? So the actual percentage of vote received by Smith is 42%, okay? And what was the sampling proportion? Sampling proportion was 45%. So what is the sampling error? Sample proportion minus actual percentage. Sample proportion minus actual proportion is 45% minus 42% is equal to 3%. So that is the sampling error for Smith. Similarly, sampling error for Jones is 43, okay, is the 43 minus 40%. Where did we get the 40% number? It is 272 divided by 680. And sampling error for Jones is, uh, for Brown is 15 minus 15 is 0%. Remember sampling error is a sample percentage minus actual percentage. So sampling percentage for Smith was 306 divided by 680, 45%. Actual percentage of vote received by Smith is 42%. So sampling error is 45 minus 42 or 3%. Part D, do you think the sampling error in this example was due primarily to sampling bias or chance? The sampling error should be attributed primarily to chance, okay? It's a random event. Since the sample was chosen randomly, this eliminates selection bias and there was a 100% response rate. This eliminates non-response bias. So those two biases are not present. So the sampling error is primarily due to chance. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a note. I will respond to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the right uh, bottom red button, red button on the bottom right corner and I come back every week with new problem and new solutions. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time.